Hey, what's up everybody? This is Paulio Jr. And in this video, I wanted to show you guys an excellent free alternative to editing uh, PDF files uh, that are typically uh, used to, uh, to open up in Adobe Acrobat and are not easily editable. Editable. <laughs> Edible. <laughs> editable. So, um, what we want to do is the website is called pdfescape.com and from there we want to have our and what's nice is this works on all platforms but you want to have your PDF file readily available so um, I'm searching for a free lease agreement and I'm going to just I found one that's a PDF so I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to copy this link I'm going to click go back to this other tab click free online and then I'm going to do load PDF from internet. You can also upload a PDF that you have on your computer. But we're going to do load PDF from internet, paste it in there, load. And I'm not going to go crazy into detail with this, but I'm going to at least show you um, uh, really simple features that you can use. So the first thing we'll go over uh, is obviously text. Anything that you want to add, just highlight. Uh, whatever you want and obviously you can put that wherever you want uh, the next thing would be white out and let's say there's a section that you did not uh, need let's say we just want to get rid of this we highlight it it's gone uh, the next thing would be an image uh, we'll choose a file and we'll go to let's throw a let's throw a Goku in there And if you are loading it from um, the PDF file from a different website, sometimes it will take a second. <coughs> but these are nice little, it's a nice little feature that it does where you can throw an image in there. So I'll go into the last page just because I know there's more room. So I already have the image selected and I can make that as, you know, big, small, as proportional as I want, leave it there. Um, freehand is obviously like paint where you can just draw whatever you want. Uh, obviously if you wanted to add a link, you know, com, and then link. Then I guess I would just add text in the here. If they were to click on this, it would go to uh, polyjr.com. And then if you actually want to remove anything, um, click out of whatever you're doing, and then you'll see the four arrows come up. And then click the arrow, and then there's a little trash can up here. You can delete whatever you want. Uh, form field is nice. You get a whole bunch of different options you can do. You can even do a drop down. Select. That's our drop down. And then we can actually go. They have a, a lot more things here. So if you need somebody to sign something, put a little check mark. A little check mark. Uh, let's go to uh, annotate. So we have the the okay. So we have the sticky note one, something similar. So when someone actually, if somebody's actually opening the PDF file, you can just write, you know, sign here, and so it gives them a little note. So just remember that whatever um, icon you're on, uh, wherever you click on the page, it's going to come up again. Uh, we have the highlight option where we can highlight whatever we want, change the color to whatever we want. Um, the strikeout strikeout option. So let's do that. Let's strike that out. Go like that. Pretty simple. Like I said, if you want to remove it, you have the four arrows. Hit the trash can. Underline. Same thing. Rectangular. Oval. Blah blah blah. Um, and then you can obviously um, append and crop uh, the page as you like. So you can actually print 
uh, directly from so you can actually save and download but you can also print directly from here if you want to save and download the PDF just click this over here and then let that go and PDF files usually aren't too big uh, I don't think the the website is uh, extremely fast but it does work and then once this guy is ready we're just going to open it so I can at least show you that the changes have been made and now we do have the physical PDF file which is nice like I said you can you can mess around with it all you want um, let's see there we go so you can see we added the whatever you want we erase something here uh, scroll down you see we highlighted that sticky note here so when you put that over there it says sign here we get check mark check mark or a little freehand and our picture has been included and so this is like I said this, this is actually an excellent um, free alternative to editing PDFs I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video obviously I didn't go through everything but at least wanted to point you in the right direction so it's called PDF escape Dot com and you can do it right in your browser um, or if you do have Windows you can download the program and do it that way um, and that's all I have today let me know what you guys think about this and if it is useful for you if this is, if this is something that uh, you've been looking for and um, enjoy the rest of your weekend a little early here but uh, have a good day guys later